We have some serious nettage going on here. The big circular one is the pro shroom catcher and then this blue net is kind of just our backup. We plan on running out and pretty much from here all the way down to Tavernier Creek there's um, stretches of mangroves and we'll poke in there and see if we can find some lobster chilling in the uh, nesting in the mangroves and then we plan on running to the Tavernier Creek anchoring up. I'm gonna throw out my new underwater fishing light and hopefully we can attract some snapper and some shrimp around the boat fill our cooler with some juicy little creatures. Brightness level. I can hardly see the screen. There we go. Here's my brand new underwater light. It has a float, and then I have an eight pound lead weight. So basically, I'm gonna tie the light to the weight and try to keep it about a foot or two from the bottom, which should scare the shrimp right up to the surface, right into my net. I should probably get rid of these. Eh? I don't know whose those are. Go on, it just scared the bejeebies out of me. Look at the hustle. <laughs> you got yeah. the dive flag. Don't worry, I'm doing good deeds too. <laughs> It'll start the first try. Guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a smoking, a smoking token. Oh, All right. Nice. Yeah, I think we're ready, ready to start a killing, killing bad boys. Let's untie the beast. Do you want to untie the front already? I'll do the back. You get her from the front, I'll get her from the back. Chris will get her from the side. <laughs> yeah, you had a pet cat last night? Yeah, that was weird. It's good stuff. That rain coming down over there, that's looking good. Romantic. That was funny when I said that. was Two feet of water, potential lobsters everywhere. Nice little pears. <laughs> Ooh, a little cannonball. I should, yeah. I should probably open the dive flag here. He's searching those mangroves like a rock star. Craig is is hot on the lobster trek. Yeah, see anything? Well, you can see in there if you had a wetsuit. There's a few bugs. Oh, no, I didn't see any lobsters. There's a bunch of fish, though. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I, I can't really go in there uh, without a suit. Yeah. There's a bunch of barnacles. Got my little snare here. <laughs> Let's see what I run into then, boys. <laughs> Woohoo! I think we gotta try a spot closer to the inlet. Close, closer to Tavernier Creek. <laughs> All right, I say I got a good spot where we need to go to. 
I was just hoping they'd be right here, but. All right, time to move spots. Damn lobster hat. I say we move spots. Lots of potential for lobster here, but didn't find any. Woo! <laughs> oh shit, I almost fell in the water there. Oh, the water's warm right here. Mm hmm. It looked great though, like it looked like there should there should be there. Dude, I saw a snook though, like fucking no like this shit. big. Yeah, dude. I got him on GoPro. Oh man, I gotta see He that. was a fatty. And then there was a barracuda that was like fucking four or five foot long and it scared the shit out of me. It crept out right in front of my face. I was like, oh. Alright, well. There's some good current running. Yeah, we're neutral. So 
So then this light clips onto the weight. Just like that. Yeah, boy. So that should stay about a foot from the ground because we're only in about eight feet of water. Now, here's the scariest part throwing your whole rig in the water. <laughs> this is actually pretty terrifying. All right, I'm just gonna chuck it. All right, I think. Down there. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, Ooh. I see it down there. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'll make it flashing light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get a snapper now, eh? Hey? They gotta be back there. Getting a hit there. What do you got there? Uh, what's it? That's a pinfish. It's a good bait. It's a great bait for what we have. Mm hmm. Sweet. On the shrimp. Get it. No slack in the line. <laughs> oh, Chris, you got you got a trophy. A big ass stick fish, man. Mother took my shrimp too. I got all excited there. <laughs> you want to hold that rod? Yeah, I got it. Oh, shit. That is a pretty, pretty little mangrove thing. I think he unhooked himself. Yeah, I think he did I too. He did. Yeah, they look all like the free line. Free line too, they enjoy that quite a bit. Another well, mini snapper. Oh, it just fl floats back freely with the current instead of uh, spinning. Is there a fish on there? There's a fish. Nice, he's a keeper, bro. Nice, that's already two snapper on the boat. It's getting dark. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Get it, Chris? Yeah, get it on in. Ooh, that's that's an that's a juicy one for the box. Ooh, that's already three now. We're doing well, eh? I think he's raveled up in the net. Yeah. Probably stepped on it. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh my God! Oh, I'm back. sorry. I didn't know. No, you're fine, dude. Wow. I can see where did where did they go or it one single. <laughs> Does that mean you're blind now, Chris? That means I'm blind in half one eye. Half blind. Blind in one eye. It couldn't have rolled that far, could have it? No, nah, that's it's straight, dude. I have extras at home. I don't know. Like <laughs> at, at the at Heiko's place? No, but I have glasses at home. Okay. I can see with one eye right now. It's just kind of awkward now. Yeah, I used to have contacts. You get LASIK? Yep. <laughs> 
Damn, you lucky dirty dog. I know, I need to get it. Yeah, I don't know, Chris. I don't see it anywhere. It's all good, bro. And at this point, it probably isn't healthy to put it back in your well, I mean, we have water. <laughs> I can wash it off. Yeah, there we go. I can still run the chum block there. Now the back of the boat is going to be right. pointing into the current. Perfect for shrimping. Yeah, there's a good current running, too. This is it's looking strong. pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what'd you get there, Chris? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Cheaper, dog. Another good one. Oh yeah. We got the light on. I and think I still have my bait. I think the light needs to be lower, but uh Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to redo this light. Yeah, it's a little bit better now. A little bit. Got good another side. one there, Chris? Oh, yeah. Good side. Get, get him on. Ripped him out of the water. <laughs> no, he's not a keeper. Oh, it's a grunt. Damn it, I thought he was. Oh, there is just some pilchards back here in the uh, in the light. Haven't seen any shrimp yet. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen a shrimp in like 30, 45 minutes now. You saw one? No, I haven't seen one. Yeah. That's, is that our first or second chum block going out? This is the Second one. Shake it out. We're coming to the last straws here, boys. Yeah. It is a beauty of a light. But just hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get my money's worth of shrimp out of this thing one day. <laughs> Another week. Yeah. Another week or two. Next time. Next time. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you told you to look out. Is it them. tight on there? Or can we? No, it looks like it'll pull out. It's gonna come out. <laughs> Your trap will still be here tomorrow. <laughs> There's a grunt in there. Still. Oh, there's a fucking grunt. That's funny. Oh, I, I mentioned him up as a grover. <laughs> is that a different kind? Is it a white, oh, like a white grunt or something? Oh, and there's a crab claw in here too. There's all sorts of things I didn't know about. <laughs> well, now you're ready for the ride home. It's Zactamungo. You excited to go back to Stewart? No, I like it here, man. But I gotta get some work done. I gotta make some money. So, I'm excited for that. Oh yeah. I'm ready to go to Sharky's. You wanna say bye to the camera, Chris? See you later, family. All right. Bye, hike I'll see you later, man. <laughs> now, I can get drunk at Sharky's. All you hear is beer bottles shatter. There they are. Had to be proud of that town. Ain't nobody heard of. That's a croc. Look at that gator too, is there? Yeah, no, yeah, that's a crocodile. Hi, hi. A saltwater croc. Did you wave at it? Yes. What? Holy crap, he's huge. That's awesome. Do we have any bait? Oh, we can like just dangle you and bring you back in. Last <laughs> Pringles. <day>. Me? <laughs> Anyone that takes it. Did you get one Yeah. yeah. Went underwater, but. That's spooky. <laughs> He's right there. Oh god. And oh my god, that's amazing. All right, who's jumping in? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's two, the two snapper I'm gonna cook up. Uh. Chris took the rest home, and I'm not totally sure how I'm going to cook them yet, but I think I'm going to run to Publix, get some lemons, and bake them. But first, I got to do my live giveaway. This is where the magic happens, right here. So I'm using a software called OBS. You can kind of see me in the camera. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, this is kind of how I stream it. YouTube comments run here. Yeah, you can see here in Photoshop, I created this blank template. And that's kind of what I'm running with in my OBS. I'll go ahead and do this live giveaway thing here and pick the February winner. And uh, then I'll move on to uh, cooking my fish up for this catch and cook video. Woo! Well, that was a pretty fun live stream. Uh, Greg, you are the winner from this stream. <laughs> But I'm sure at this point you already know that. Well, I guess now it's time to cook the snapper. So I'm going to go to Publix and get some lemons and, I don't know, some other stuff. But first, I'm going to go to Sharky's. Wait, actually, first, I think I want to shave. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, baby soft. Sharky, 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 Sharky. It's scientifically proven that if you get a ride to the bar, you can drink 10 times as much and get in 10 times less trouble. Oh yeah. Yeah. Drop it in there, ladies and boys. <laughs> well, it's two in the morning. Um, which is pretty late for the keys. Oh shit, all the ice. All cat. I will uh, have to eat you tomorrow. I mean, bake you tomorrow. It's super windy out here tonight. Crazy level of windy. So I'm just gonna descale them and gut them. Using the flat part of a butter knife. All right, boom. He's descaled. Right, I'm going to take a little sharp knife, cut, cut off the fin here, just like that. A lot easier when you have a good grip on the fish. Just like that. Alright, now we gotta remove the inside, so I'll just kind of cut down from the gills. There's all the insides. We're gonna pull those out and pull the gills out. There, here's the second one. So there's the gills, we're just gonna rip all of it out.
gills and the organs. These are the gills. So you can see there's no more gills in there. Do the same to the other one. Just start by ripping the gills out and then all the organs will follow. Just like that. There you go, we have two clean fish. I'm gonna hose them down with water now. Wow, the new water hose they installed here is freaking amazing. All right. I'm pretty sure I just saw a baby flounder. I'm gonna wait here a little longer, see if I can get them again. It's all these little worms in the water. See them? There's a bigger one right there. Normally I, I would use peanut oil, but I don't have any and canola oil pretty much empty. So I got a big thing of vegetable oil. So I guess I'll use that. It's also the cheapest, but I heard that it's not really the best. Put some of this stone ground cor cornmeal in a in a bag. I'll drop the fish in there, get him nice cornmealed up. There he is. Ah, the joys of cooking one-handed. I need to find a cameraman or a camera woman. Make sure the inside of the fish is completely covered in this cornmeal here. All right. We got two ghost fish. You know the oil's getting real nice and hot when you see those little spermies in there. Start with the bigger one. Oh, it already smells good. Oh yeah, it's flipping time. Oh. Oh, oh my, oh my. Okay, that was not professional.
They're smelling good. Oh, real good. I'm gonna put some of this Thai sweet red chili sauce on it that Dan recommended to me. This stuff is great on fried to fish. And, well, I got a remote that literally has a net, net fish and chill button, so I'll just push that. What to watch, what to watch. You know, I just totally realized I forgot to cut slits into these fish. Normally I cut a slit going like here and here on both sides, but I totally forgot, but it still turned out great, so. Fantastic. So good, so good. I could probably eat this every day. Mm. Look, the meat comes right off the bones. So the ribs. Plus.